Welcome, nerds. All right. We finally made it. Uh, it's been a while. How long has it been? Two, Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. So, finally managed to squeeze in a session. Uh, welcome, mm-hmm. everyone who's here or watching the VODs in like 10 years down the line. <laughs> Uh, to our weekly D and D show slash experience called. I can't believe we Air hit Horn. ten views on YouTube. What? I said I can't believe I we hit ten views on YouTube now. I don't even know. Eight if we years have later. That. I mean, um, in eight years we've got ten views. Oh right, right, of course. Uh, yeah, let's do our usual thing. Go around the war and see what everyone's been up to over the past couple of weeks. <clears throat> Can start with Logan. Uh. Kind of working backwards. We started out uh, yesterday. We went to Frederick Market Gardens. Uh, did a good long walk around. Checked out the Ai Weiwei exhibit. Uh, the what? Ai Weiwei. It's probably like my favorite artist. Not like, not that I like follow modern art or anything, but uh, he's pretty awesome. He's uh, a Chinese artist, and uh, okay. he's had an exhibit at. Uh, Frederick Meyer Gardens from January to August. So, finally got to go check that out. Been wanting to do that for months, and uh, cool. walked around and walked around outside in the sculpture park and the uh, in the uh, Japanese gardens, which I still haven't seen or which I still hadn't seen. It's been like so, been open for like five years or so, but they're really mm-hmm. freaking awesome. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat place. Um, so we did that all day yesterday. Uh, for Heather's birthday, so, um, yeah, and then I worked last Sunday, I basically worked, like, every day, except for mm-hmm. last Monday, I've worked, yeah, two weeks I worked, like, every day except for last Monday, so, it's been a pretty intense couple of weeks, but it's good, I like <laughs> money, so, got a lot of stuff going on, I got a if anybody out there uh, knows anything about hosting websites, that'd be great. Um, hit me up with that collab, GoDaddy.com, uh, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Playing Tom, anything? Doing anything? Uh, I started Ori in the Blind Forest. Mm. Played that for a couple hours. Uh never played it is it fun it's it's pretty good it's a fun little side scroller game Mm -hmm. uh really it's i mean it's gorgeous it's i mean that's the fun part about it is just how beautiful it is the soundtrack's amazing uh it's got like yeah it's got talent tree and everything that's like the most complex part about it so Mm -hmm. that's pretty cool um other than that i'm just coming home and sleeping every day we watched Game of Thrones last night, of course, as did like ninety percent of the nation. Mm-hmm. So, very good. You guys watch it today? Yeah, I watched. I did watch it today. Yeah. yeah. I freaking, I was eating my break or lunch kind of, and I turned it back on to where I left off. I kind of watched the uh, episode halfway last night, and I got mm. really tired because it was like two o'clock. Mm. Yep. And it turned on to the part where freaking, he was dissecting the human. I was like, what? Uh, <sighs> Good one. That was a good one. Nice. Darn it. Um. Yeah. What else? I don't know. We got a little bit caught up, uh, caught back up on working on my campaign a little bit. Nice. A little bit here and there. So. Yeah, I saw that you had a bit of a spark of genius or something on Twitter. Yeah, I was just like, oh crap, like. I I had found that music on Reddit. I was talking about the Spotify playlist and all that, and I like was listening to it. I was like, "Oh man, yeah, like I, I should I should get to work on this." And I just like you know I had the the urge to do it, and then, like had like twenty minutes to do stuff, and I was just, like typing furiously, and I had to go to work. So mm-hmm. it sucks when that happens. Oh, I know, I know. That so, happens to me quite a bit. The good news is that uh, at least with my job, I have a lot of time to kind of be in my own mind and thinking yeah. about things. Yeah. So this week I, I didn't, uh, usually I do. Usually when I'm like working mostly by myself, I can chat with people while I'm doing work or 
kind of, you know, just think to myself a whole bunch. But uh, not this week. This week I trained like, I don't know, like four out of the five days or and then managed the other two. So I just like was constantly talking to people, constantly answering questions. And so it's a mentally exhausting weekend. I'm so glad to like be sitting on my ass most of my day today. <laughs> yeah. Like yesterday I walked around a whole bunch and like 20 minutes after walk, like 20 minutes after we got there and we're like walking around and stuff like that. I was like, God, my knees hurt so bad right now. <laughs> like two weeks on my feet, like, you know, nine plus hours a day. And just like my, my fucking knees were hurting. My ankles were hurting. So, um, yep. it's like, I don't know, sore from walking around so much. So yeah, it feels good to sit down today. <laughs> so and then, uh, yeah. I really think that's uh that's about it. All right, Micah, we know that you oh, have been D three Necromancer, but yeah. Oh right, you've been playing yeah, that, but yeah. uh, yes. we talked about that last time. It uh released and okay. played a little bit. But uh Micah's been busy. What have you been up to? Mm-hmm. Um I've been in North Carolina. I, we we left last week Friday, so like uh, uh so what we missed last session, that's the reason mm-hmm. why. Mm-hmm. Um it was like the hottest week there this year. Like the the heat index was reaching like a hundred, so it was pretty brutal being outside. Like like you'd be swimming, and if you weren't underwater, your face would be hot. Um, Gross. and then uh yeah, like if you're outside at all, even at night you felt like ugh, sticky. So mm-hmm. um yeah, if you're out there for like five minutes, you'd be super, you'd be sweaty. <laughs> it's, it's it was brutal, um. Yeah, so we pretty much we just hung out with our cousins, aunt and uncle, uh, mm-hmm. in their uh, beach house, and then at their home after a few days because of some stuff that came up with with uh with our aunt's daughter's daughter, so her grandchild. Um, but yeah, that's really it. That's it. We hung out. I gotta hang out with my cousins that I don't get to see often and play a lot of Hearthstone. Found out that you your bit. cousin plays D and D. My cousin does play D and D. He plays, plays it a lot. He plays it like every Thursday. I talked to him and he said he'd be he'd be into uh, potentially joining us nice. in our campaign. Maybe, could be, yeah, possibly. Um, to derail your fun little two-week adventure here um i did talk to micah about maybe we throw him in a one shots and see how he jives with the group um if we think that he's a good match we could maybe throw him into our main campaigns but uh, that's just something to entertain uh, thumb over for a while Uh, go ahead and continue i mean that was that's pretty much it yeah you did stuff though what did you do when you were there um i saw spider-man the newest one uh two times actually i really enjoyed it i enjoyed it actually probably probably one of my favorite spider-mans um what else uh we we saw some lighthouses uh it rained pretty hard there but um we yeah they did they did a lot more than i did because I did a lot of the stuff when I went there last time. I stayed home and played CS:GO. No, like I would, like like me and my Nathan would hang out, and then they'd go and do stuff. Like they'd go to like the like the science museum. Like I already went there. It was awesome. I love I love that stuff. But I already saw all of it, so I was like, oh, you guys can just go. And me and Nathan went and did other stuff. Because mm-hmm. you were there like last year, weren't you? I was there. No, I was there in 2014. Last year. No. Pretty much last year. We picked you up from the airport, like when I was nineteen. It was the it was the year before. It was the uh, it was the um, week before, or it was the the year before I started freshman year. So it was, or it was the year I started freshman year. So, still in fourteen. All right. Yeah. I don't really know if I, if I buy that. I remember us 
It was like during the preliminary. Yeah, I remember us talking about stuff Trump. With, yeah, exactly. Which is why it's no way it's 2014. Because we were talking about politics and stuff, like the coming up candidates in the election. So I don't know. So maybe 2015. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah. Other than that, um, I've been yeah pretty busy too, working. Uh, same old DM prep. Uh, yeah, watched the new Game of Thrones, which is cool. Uh, happy it's back in my life. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to seeing the endless conspiracy theories uh, <laughs> once again. Uh, what else? Uh, finished Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valencia, which was good. I enjoyed that. Um, been very casually playing Far Cry 4. That's my game to finish right now and just don't really get to games that often anymore, but uh, you can finish that eventually it's pretty fun um bit monotonous if you actually try to do everything which is how i play games and then i hate myself um so don't try to do everything in far cry 4 just like yeah do some of the missions and do that's the- how i did far cry 3 and i kind of got bored of it i would get like all like the yeah. towers and the no, not just the towers like collecting all the monies and everything god I, I like like and I would breaking all of, the masks instead of having to freaking freaking buy the weapons. I would just get free rewarded the weapons because of how many of the cell towers I'd get. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the thing was that I had so much money by the mid game that I had to spend it. Otherwise, it would just be capping. So I bought like every single weapon in the game, upgraded my house to max. It was just crazy. I was like halfway through the game. And I had game? through Far Cry oh. Four, and I had like pretty much everything. And I was like, "Oh my god! All right, so maybe I should actually focus on like doing the campaign." I don't know. <laughs> like I have nothing else to spend money on now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else did I do? Uh, well, we are well into the seventh month of the year 2017 so uh, fupa lost 2017 is in full swing uh back on my vegan diet and going to, to the gym FUPA. what yeah going to the no. gym gotcha. yeah been doing that so I'm too, way too lazy for that fupa lost 2017 we're gonna hit it boys um getting ready for a bunch of weddings yeah weddings are coming up um i got my fancy schmancy stuff that i can wear to the wedding so god it's like corwin's uh cousin emily's uh Mm. jordan's wedding um god i know there's someone else that i'm missing uh jordan oh you said jordan yeah i don't know there's there's at least three or four uh which is kind of crazy in the space of like three months yeah. Um, so that's coming up for sure, Z's. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, so they were gone. Um, it was nice to kind of have my own space. Um, bom, bom. Yeah. Be able to sleep in without herd of elephants above you. <laughs> yeah. The uncaged elephants, like 7 30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. In other news, uh, uh, yesterday i like yesterday i was I like just, i've been naturally waking up way earlier which is great and it's like mm-hmm. it was like <laughs> see you nerd <laughs> uh, he just pieced out oh there he goes uh it was like 10 o'clock in the morning or something i think he's it's just uh wow he's standing still he's dead still he's, he's really, actually and we can check oh he's out his poker noises. face he is, Look at the, uh, there's sound bars coming on for him yeah I don't hear his voice, but I see the soundbars. Say the soundbars. I'm going to refresh the page real quick. Yeah, me too.
Can you hear me or see me? Yes. Both? Yes. I have no idea what happened. That was weird, yeah. Uh, I could still hear and see you guys perfectly, and myself. So huh. I don't know why you suddenly lost. Yeah, you, so it showed that you were speaking. Yeah, you like disappeared, and then you came back, and it was just like a still image. And then your sound bars were going, but we couldn't really hear you. Okay. Yeah, well, you were dropping hopefully bars. That's, yeah. Hopefully it's resolved. Yeah. Um, Anyways, as I was saying, it was like 9.30 in the morning, and uh, kids like outside my window just like, Wah! Wah! And I'm like, like <laughs> really? Why? Like, you're like three feet away from my window right now, dude. Like, ah! do, you, right. do you have to scream like you're two years old? Like, like, I was awake, and I'm just like, I'm just like, dude, I, like, it's still too early for that, man. <laughs> like, you gotta scream so loud. Like, just waiting for my coffee. Yeah. Can you see Micah's camera? Yeah. I cannot. Oh. So. You might want to refresh it, sir. Well, I already did. I guess I'll do it again. Right, Micah, can you like refresh your camera though first? He ran away to go outside and get whatever he had to go get. So. Okay. Um. When he comes back, you should refresh. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. Pretty stoked about Micah's new character. I think it's a pretty cool character. Cool. Uh, which we will introduce shortly. Um. And I'm pretty interested in where the campaign is going. We got a lot of moving pieces. Yeah. You know, it's like Bahari is somewhere on the loose killing everyone. Uh, there's a big war to the north. There's a big war to the west. You got this conflict with, you know, Damien and Raceland, who now has his new laboratory. And yeah. it's all just kind of coming to an he a head here. So I'm curious what side the party will take. And you know, what quests they'll, they'll decide to venture out on, and uh, yeah, it should be cool. It's gonna be interesting. Ooh. I don't know. I think that's all I got. How much more filler content is there, really? Um, yeah. um well, I don't know. I, um,. But there was something else I was going to mention, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, hmm. uh, I got to meet some puppers the other day. We had puppers show up for uh, that we uh, sponsored. We sponsored hmm. a puppy out of a litter, and uh, they okay. came down to Latitude the other day. It was a gr great time. I spent like the first two hours of work just like hanging out outside, sitting mm -hmm. in the grass playing with puppies. So there's nothing to complain Are about. Are you just going to have dogs in your restaurant no no it was just like a one-time thing just mm. you know, because we sponsored it so it was coming we brought it down so we could meet them mm -hmm. so it was a good time it was fun cool uh yeah cool played a little bit of that necromancer Mm-hmm. new season's coming up yep yeah which is what i'm actually gonna consider yeah. playing oh. i uh i did like greater rift 85 uh, mm -hmm. Without like any Keldesons. so it's, I mean that blood build's pretty strong, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean it's it's all right. It's fairly fun. It can be frustrating at times because like you'll just fall really far behind because you haven't seen a pack and like like I've gone entire like an entire level in a rift without seeing a single pack. I'll just like blink. I'll just be blinking all the way through. And I'll find the end like two minutes later and be like, "All right, cool. I just wasted like two whole minutes, and I don't yeah, want to be in that situation." So, and, uh, uh, well, I guess if it actually happened and you were trying to make progress, you would just completely redo the entire run. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, like I should have just been like hunting for mm -hmm. decent rifts. If I mm -hmm. wanted to do like a ninety, because like just some of the mobs, like mobs that leap on you, like there's nothing you can do and you just die. Mm -hmm. Kind of sucks. But I have like I have like six or seven hundred keys at this point, so 
Seems like a pretty volatile build. I don't know if I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. Like, speaking oh, of volatile, speaking of volatile, tiles, so. you just instantly die. Yeah. Find a juggernaut pack, can't kill it. <laughs> can't find a pack. Oh, you're two minutes behind now. It's kind of shit. All right, Micah, can you uh, refresh your roll twenty one more time? Yeah. John can't see you. The video and well, no, you could just go to the options and refresh video and voice. Yeah. Uh, Bueller, are you there? It Ferris. Went it went black, so I'm just waiting. All I see is spaghetti monster dab. Oh, I just see black screen dab. I'm gonna refresh now, I guess. Fine. I can see you. Whoa, I can yeah. see you. Oh, oh. Ah. Uh, okay. Are we good? The magic of the internet. See? Let's go. Whoa. Yep. Hello? All right. Yes, I can hear you. All right. Time for a recap. We're going to do the recap. Yes. Uh, is it your week? It yeah. is my week. All right. Do it to it. Uh, so we started off last session. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh. Breaking out Raceland out of the vial or whatever you want to fucking call it. The test tube thing that he was in. Uh, and kind of filled him in and he filled us in. Kind of like pieced together what was happening with that. Uh, Garrick was kind of still transforming kind of <laughs> melting and stuff and it was horrifying uh Raceland was trying to create a portal or uh, create the ability to teleport or whatever to uh our favorite place as Fidel Acheron and uh uh yeah, so he was memorizing spells to do that and help Garrick possibly. Um, uh, Desmond and Orsic went to went to go clear out the whole level, kill a couple of zombies, and that was really about it. Found a couple other things uh, on that floor. Uh, let's see, and then uh, they got to the capital of Acheron and. Garrick went to visit Reeve, uh, <clears throat> and then the rest of the party went and talked to uh, Arash Kiggle. Arash Kiggle didn't seem worried at all, really, about Violet, saying she could handle herself. Uh, and then she told the party about what was happening with uh, Fahari. Wow, she was kind of mm -hmm. going insane or whatever, killing stuff. Uh, being possessed by the weapon, mm -hmm. supposedly. Uh, and then Garrick decided he was going to stay with Reeve. Um, and uh, Raceland was going back to his lair, uh, which was... Well, he went back to his master's lair, which is now going to be his lair, I suppose. Uh, Desmond and Orsic are going to visit Damien in Witchwell, because... Uh, Raceland was killed by Damien and then woke up. Allegedly. That, yeah, allegedly, and then woke up in that thing. <clears throat> um, so, presumably, Damien's in Witchwell, in charge in Witchwell, of the uh, uh, people, the Blackguard, and all that stuff. So, be he is in charge. Or so he thinks, at least. Right. Uh, so they, uh, the two, Desmond and Orzik, also plan on hunting for, for Vahari somewhere in here. Uh, and return her and... Or return her weapon, anyways, to Volbrunder. Uh, and... Uh... 
And then they also plan to possibly go north to help out on the war front in the north. Uh, and hopefully make amends with Naui and the Druids somehow, magically. That would be beneficial for Orsic at the least. Uh, he would like to do that. And, uh, yeah, I think that's kind of where we left off. Uh, he would like to get his oaths. Yeah. Uh, so they are headed... Uh, they're going to port from Acheron to... Uh... Uh... Shit, well, Silverwood, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's what they planned on doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, you're 10th level, right? Uh, uh yes. Oh. Seven and, seven and three. Yes, 10th level. All right. 4,000 experience for the good recap. Oh. Puts me like 1,004 short of leveling. Well, maybe you'll get it this session. We'll see. Maybe you can complete a goal. Maybe. He's 10th. Level? Yeah. Yep. Oh, so uh, you're almost eleven. Almost. Wow. All right. I know. Moving on up. So. Hey, my gosh. We are starting the session, having Orsic and Desmond. Uh. Wait a minute. We have to figure out what happened with your horses. Uh, our horses. I think you ported the horses. Oh. Or did you did not? Did I bring them downstairs? I thought into that... The dungeon? Well, the thing is that Raceland mass teleported, so he can grab pretty much okay. everything. So I just... I don't think we covered it, but mm. there's no way Desmond would have left his his family horse at the, the head of that dungeon. Yeah. So I think Raceland, you guys head out of the dungeon and ported all the horses and then left them like in the main portal area while you went into the city, had some conversation, and then you take the portal from Akron with the horses, uh, uh the, yeah. Are you TL, are you, uh, retconning or is that what you're saying? You no, I'm saying that is what happened because even if I didn't say it, there's no way Desmond leaves that horse. So it's just poor role. Because it would have been... It would have been, yeah, because I would have had to roll a lot more checks on the, um, the madness and all that. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, because we were in the, when we did the porting, we were in the dungeon still. I like the No, box. nothing changes except you guys take five minutes to exit the dungeon and go grab the horses. Yeah. That's the only thing that changed. Um, and I'm just saying because Desmond would never leave the horse, so... Uh, I have to do that. Um, so yeah, he mass teleported all of you, um, and we're starting the session with you guys taking the gateway to Silverwood, and once again you find yourselves in that uh, dark kind of sparse basement uh, in Silverwood uh, with your horses at the foot of the staircase. All right. <laughs> Yes, once again, so, this. Uh, yeah, so I guess we will uh, lead our horses carefully up the steps as yeah, we have in the past. It's going to take you like a half an hour to get these <laughs> We've done this upstairs. before. <laughs> yeah, you really struggle getting them up. They don't like this. It's yeah. uneven footing. Uh, but you're... Uh, yeah, and it doesn't take long for whatever this guy is, the keeper of the gate... Mm -hmm to open the door and, and, you know, chastise you angrily for <laughs> once again, bringing horses up his staircase. Like, yeah, blast. You have to do this every single time. Yeah. Yeah. He's upset. Uh, so, but yeah, you guys can manage to over the course of the next 40 minutes, get the horses out of this building, uh, unscathed and mostly undamaging the staircase. Yeah. Kind of a little bit, but it's not yeah. too bad. Uh, yeah, and you guys are hanging out in the city. It's actually evening. It's uh, dusk out now. So I presume you guys go to find some sort of an inn. Uh, yeah, we will just head straight for an inn, I suppose. Tie our horses up there and uh, um, rest for the night because it has been a fairly long day. 
Yeah, it has. Uh, uh, we'll do that in a minute. Okay, I just We're want to, gonna... to edit it for the stream. So, so, yeah, yeah, we'll but we'll we'll get to it in a minute here because he's we are introducing his character early so that he can actually participate in the session. Yeah, because that's been a problem in the past where. Um, trying to role play it correctly we're like uh eh, well you know maybe micah won't show up till later but uh, i really want him to show up now so mm -hmm. i don't want him to sit around and have to listen um so he's gonna be introduced early uh and it makes sense you'll see so if you're okay we can skip away the night move to the 15th of shatter spring yeah cool uh... Yeah, there's not really anything I'd like to do. Probably tired yeah, and and... shops are closed at this hour, yeah. so. Um, yeah, so you guys found some sort of uh, in just an inn. Uh, mm -hmm. You tie up your horses. There, there's no bed and breakfast or anything here. It's a rather modest establishment. Uh, you wake up in the morning, come down the stairs of the second story area, and yeah. Per, start perusing the town or whatever you're gonna do. Um, what do we feel like? Desmond is fully armored at this point, um, and he says, "So, uh, keeping the plan, heading towards Damien." Uh, yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll head for Witchwell. Should All be. right. Sounds good to me, Too but big uh, issue to get there. Yeah, should maybe be on our guard though. Closer we get to that place, eh, more likely he's gonna have eyes watching us, right? I suppose so. Hopefully, I mean, I doubt he knows our intention though, right? He shrugs. But uh, just in case, let's make sure to. Talk about our plans on the road instead of yeah. in town where there could be ears. Speaking of that, you got anything you got to do here in Silverwood? Mm, no. Nothing here. Only thing I got to right. do is uh, head to Shieldwall. Mm -hmm. Cool. So... You guys, yeah, so your plan is to head out right away today? Um, uh, probably pretty early, yeah. Headed early? Cool. So, let's see. It's pretty early. It's, yeah, like maybe 9.30 or something. Um, you guys are walking through kind of like the town square or whatever. Uh, you've been through here many times. It's a rather large city um, mm -hmm. it's not the largest you've been through by any means but it's definitely quite large um, when something weird happens um, you are approached by a small man uh, wearing red robes and it has a large red rimmed cap, some sort of like looks like a wizard hat, you know, like one of those stereotypical ridiculous Harry Potter wizard hats, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, take it away, Micah. Yeah, so uh, it, it, you could have easily mistaken it for like a child if you wouldn't look closer, but like. Um, all of a sudden he like turns his head up and he starts, he, he starts yelling and, uh, at you guys, he's about 20, 30 feet away. And he says, uh, everybody look, these criminals, these demons, they walk among you as if they're normal. Well, they are not. And I'm here to lay waste to these evil beings. Vahari Lor Vahari Lor Vahari Lorwin, Orsic Battlehammer, and Desmond Relcor. I am here to stop your endless violence. Desmond Take looks revenge. at you, Orsic. Like, what the hell is this guy going on I, about? Uh, look up. I 
swiftly look around to see who he's talking to. As if I'm most definitely not Orsic Battlehammer. <laughs> I, I around. Yeah, the, it's pretty popping, you know. It's quite early, yeah. but uh, a lot of these people get up early. You know, they get up okay. with the sun and they, they get to their shops and, you know, and people do business early in the day. Mm -hmm. So there's quite a few people, and you would consider this not quite the city square, but it's definitely near the city square. So you're. Yeah, I'm, try, I'm, trying, I'm trying to draw a crowd. I'm, I'm using my. And, that. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that happens. Unless you roll a charisma check, I'm not going to give you, like, all the crowd. But people definitely turn, kind of stop, and... And I, uh... I, uh... Ways. Yeah. Okay. So then I say, uh... Desmond pipes up and says, What's your business, little guy? I look at him angrily, and I'm like, You... I'm here to end your senseless violence. To stop your evil rampage, I will take your lives and send revenge for the innocents you have slaughtered and my family. Oh no. I just want a little bit more of an emotional track. Oh. So. <laughs> what the fuck? My name is Inigo Montoya. You, you killed you, my father. Now prepare these to These are the die. people who are responsible mm -hmm. for. Something terrible that happened to you. So I want to make it a little bit of an emotional moment for your character. Um, Desmond says, So what is it? Seeking revenge? Justice. Uh, oh, I, let out, I let out a very large visible sigh. And I say, Son, do you know justice? You looking at this guy though, and he's way older than. Well, okay. he's not maybe way older than you, but he's way older than Desmond. He's mm -hmm. he's up in his years. He looks like an elderly kind of guy. So son maybe isn't appropriate, but. Excuse me, I think I know much more about justice than you, you vagabond. Who killed who? What is it you're looking for from us? Did I wrong you? Where's the other demon? The the girl. I must sweep you all away in one blow. Desmond looks to Orzik. He's talking about Fahari. Or Violet, but... He did mention Fahari. You might think you could just get away with killing families on your s crime sprees, but somebody's gonna make you take responsibility. Hmm. So who are you? Who are you claiming he we've says, killed? You killed my wife and my child. And he's, I guess, Luther's at this point getting like He's, he's very red in the face. Um, Desmond rolls high enough on his intelligence check to connect the dots. He says... That monster that killed your family... We're after her too. She was a friend of ours, you see. You're not wrong. But that's not her anymore. She's possessed. Speak, speak sense. That weapon she carries. We've already heard the truth about it. It's taking control of her dead body. It's a weapon of tremendous power. We're hunting her same as you. He gives Orsic a look like, back me up here. I don't want to kill this guy. It doesn't matter if it was her. You are a part of it. I don't care if she's dead or alive. Vahari Lorwyn is not... <sighs> she's not... She's not Vahari Lorwyn anymore. I'm unsure of how else to put this. She's controlled. 
anything she has done was led on by a demon of uh, something otherworldly. And why should I trust wanted men, evil men, responsible for the death of of King Ra and Prince Ravencrest? You don't need to trust me. If it's vengeance you're after, and I can see it in your eyes. Those are the same eyes I had once. I won't deny you it. He draws his sword. I won't admit guilt because I have none. But I will give you what it is you desire. And, uh, I think at that point, he, uh, <clears throat> let's see. He, what does he cast? Um, initiative, if you cast a spell. Um, are yeah, you gonna, I, are you casting a spell? Uh, yeah, I cast. I'm gonna drag your character out so that you can, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drag your character out, though, just so that we can roll initiative. You know, it's not necessarily required here, but I want to make sure that we do this right. So, uh, can you roll initiative? Or roll Desmond's. Uh, Three. Okay. Same for you, Orsic, just so we have you in there. Eight. All right, I need to get rid of all these horses. All right, Desmond goes first. Um, cool, he's gonna try and trip you. Do, do, do. So it's, I don't remember how I do all this. When I hit a creature with a weapon attack and expend one superiority die to attempt to knock the target down, I hit the superiority die to attacks damage roll. Okay. Cool. And I just need to know what his say is. 16. Okay. So he's going to make an attack roll at you. 26 hits you. <laughs> Alright, where's my d10? Oh, wow. Okay. So... He deals you 13 points of damage. Uh, I'm gonna just subtract that here. And you need to make me a saving throw against a uh, strength saving throw. Okay, so 20 plus zero, probably because I have zero strength. Yeah. I didn't. 20. Three. Wow, no. Yeah, so in a, in a very swift move, as soon as you see, you start uttering arcane words and wiggling your hands around, Desmond bull rushes you, and as he slices you with his sword, he does a trip maneuver and you fall flat on your back. Uh, Orsic, you're next. You see uh, Desmond pretty much throw this man to the ground. I mean, it's like... He like kicked me like... Yeah, it's like a three foot tall guy. Three foot five. He gets under your legs and trips you yeah. while cutting you with a sword. Uh, 